products. A physical product is a product that you can touch and hold. It's what most of us think of as products. Electronic goods, cosmetics, toys, kitchen items, appliances, and so on. Digital products are products that you can't touch or hold. Usually, they are information or entertainment products. Ebooks, Kindle books, training programs, videos, and software are all examples of digital products. However, digital products can be turned into physical products by putting them on CDs, DVDs, etc. There are also ways to turn physical products into digital products as well, but we won't get into all of that. The first difference is dramatically different production costs. Importantly, unlike physical products, the cost of producing digital products is virtually zero after the initial product is made. Making a hundred or a hundred million copies of a video training series or ebook is virtually costless. Almost 100% of the production costs go to making the initial product. So the impact on profitability is huge. This is unlike physical products, of course, but production costs are very important for each additional item. In addition to the monetary cost is the cost in time. Production time is very important when you're selling physical products. It can take a month to produce the products that you need to restock. This is not an issue for digital products, since production of additional units is virtually instantaneous. Difference number two, enormous potential for scalability. Because there are virtually no production costs, you can quickly move from selling 10 units a day to 10,000 units a day very simply, without putting any stress or strain on the production process. The same digital product can be sold over and over again, because it's just a matter of making an instantaneous copy. There is no difference between a copy and an original for a digital product. In addition, your digital stores are located wherever there is a computer, iPad, tablet, or mobile phone. Your network is automatically global. Difference number three, remarkable differences in shipping and deliverability. The conventional way of selling physical products is in a retail store, like Walmart, Target, or boutique shop. Customers must physically come to you. Digital products can be delivered to the customer at work, home, or anywhere via their mobile phone. Since the product is digital, they get it right on their device of choice, like buying a Kindle book. Your store does not have to have particular opening hours either. The digital world is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. All this means that it is therefore much easier to make sales. Increasingly, physical products are being sold through the internet, most famously on Amazon.com. This is part of the crossover of the digital and physical worlds. For physical products, shipping costs are also an issue. The method, whether it be by air, land, or sea, and the time to ship. For digital products, however, shipping times are instantaneous. In addition, digital products can be delivered with virtually no shipping costs. The only costs are the cost of an internet connection and an internet selling platform, which can be as low as $10 per month in total. Furthermore, there is virtually no difference between delivering a digital product to a customer on the other side of the street or on the other side of the planet. This is not only in terms of time and transportation costs. There are also no customs, duties, and other import or export charges on digital products. So your customer base is no longer local, but global, running into the millions. Combined with the easy scalability of digital products, this potential is astounding.